uh, stations, just an update. Um, there's the, these animals have only just started feeding on the carcass, so there's um, still going to be a lot of activity. I'm gonna probably be another five, ten minutes and I'll make space. I know Yost is interested in moving in, and then Mike will update you after that too. Copy, and I know Duncan is also interested in making his way into this area. Uh, we will keep you all updated, like I say, they've just started feeding. is such a such a great sight I mean it's, it's sometimes I know some of you might be thinking it's a bit gory and yeah it, it can be but watching lions feeding like this <laughs> M Ruth you say this is gorgeous yes <laughs> suppose it is M Ruth very clever um, But yeah, we've definitely got the best position here at the moment. The light um, and just watching this male feed. Look at that. That's that's a really, really great scene. That female is a beautiful female too. Now these lions, I really hope, I must be honest, I really hope the, the rest of the pride do come and feed on this carcass. I'm sure they would have helped this this hunt um, and this kill so for them not to feed would be a shame hopefully this male just fills his belly and eventually decides to lie down and let allow the rest of the pride to come and feed actually such a wonderful sighting um for because one the light is perfect we found them at the right time and just how it all unfolded for us and um and to view them like this feeding still feeding the activity it's it's really really great really great and out in the open too we're lucky really lucky because sometimes when they do make kills it's in a thicket um, and you don't often get to see as much and look at the light in that in the male's eyes So it doesn't look like that injury really is anything too serious for that male. But like I said, you know, these these animals do get injured out here. It's not easy hunting big buffalo, and um, but they heal very quickly. They definitely do. And I don't think this male will be will will be in too much threat or anything of of an infection. Um, I mean, ugh, we've seen these lions get injured before so A Andrew now you're asking how long a wound like that would take to heal um, Andrew I've seen wounds fit, heal within a week um, a wound like that to be honest I honestly think within two weeks I don't think we'd, we'd see a, a, a bad scar at all I think it would, would heal quite quickly um, to be honest, I don't know how deep it is. I don't know if it's from a horn. I would assume it's possibly from a horn that went into the side of the leg, perhaps, or or maybe a hoof. Um, a hoof. The while they pulled the buffalo down, if the buffalo stood on the on the line on the side of the leg, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Now we're not going to hang around too much longer and um, as I said it is just an amazing sighting we've definitely had the best part of it but we want to obviously make space for some of the other um, vehicles around so everybody can have a view of the sighting while wow, there's still activity but look, look at that that's actually a great view of that big male and he was growling a bit at the female Now, some of you are wondering if this is perhaps a mating pair. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, I don't. I don't think so. Um, but but I'm not sure. Um, we had. 
I mean, these males, these males have been following these females around for quite some time. Um, I know, what was it, about three weeks ago. When last was it? Yeah, three weeks ago. Well, now that male's got a bit of a limp. <laughs> watch, he's growling, watch. It's amazing how aggressive these lions get when they are feeding. Um, so I'm not sure if they are mating. I mean, we haven't seen any activity, mating activity. Um, but I'm sure the rest of the pride were around. So I don't know if the males are just following the pride to see if the females are in estrus. Is there a chance to mate with any of them? Um, maybe that's why this male is with the pride. As I said, about three weeks ago, a month ago, we saw the Nkuma Pride and they were, the males were following them around. Two males were with them, so possibly looking and testing to see if the females are in estrus and looking to mate. I can hear some ground hornbills calling in the distance too. I need to get them to add to my list. We're going to do some birding, I think, after this. Okay, copy your stuff. Um, yeah, I'm going to move out in the next two minutes. You can make your way straight in. Um, yeah, your I think it, via teller access, and there's actually a road between Zoe's and Quarantine. I'm not sure. There's another little link road right on the western side of Quarantine, and they're just off that road. Yeah, a firm, a firm. Have a look at that male. He's he's displaying he's displaying flemin at the moment. So what what that is is the female must have urinated. Now this is possibly linked to our question about if they are mating or not. Have a look. Oh, that would have been an amazing photograph. <laughs> oh, perfect light at that male displaying flemin. Um, the Fleming Grimace. So what he's doing is actually tasting and smelling the urine. And he's got an organ at the back of his palate called the Jacobson's organ, and he uses that to tell whether or not the female is in estrus and looking and ready to mate. So it looks like he's snarling or smiling, but he's basically tasting the scent, and that organ is very very sensitive, and he'll be able to tell whether or not she is in estrus. All right. Well, I think we're going to make our way out of here. Like I said, I just want to give everyone else a chance to see some feeding activity and that. We've had a great view already, probably the best. Um, but 